top 10 most expensive lawsuits in the world. In today's modern corporate environment, lawsuits are one of the most typical forms of money proceedings. Even though lawsuits are frequently motivated by avarice, there are situations in which they are wholly warranted and essential. Yet, it does appear that new cases are being brought for reasons that are at least a little bit suspicious every time you turn around. The reality of the situation is that this is just the way the world works. People get the impression that they have to sue for everything. The majority of individuals could never even begin to fathom the amount of money that is involved in the largest lawsuit settlements. Some of the most significant events in human history are presented in this video. Number 10 Webster Lucas vs. McDonald's, which resulted in a settlement of $1.5 million. Although it is not even close to being at the very top of the list of the most costly lawsuit settlements that have ever taken place, it is at the very top of the list of the most dubious litigation that has ever taken place. Webster Lucas, a man whose nationality could not be determined, filed a lawsuit against a McDonald's restaurant in California and prevailed. He then allegedly asked the manager of a McDonald's in California, who was described as being a member of a minority group, for a second napkin, only to hear the manager mumble something under his breath that Lucas thought might be discriminatory, and he was so upset that he could no longer work due to mental anguish. Lucas has since filed a lawsuit against McDonald's for wrongful termination. Consequently, he filed a lawsuit and was ultimately granted $1.5 million in damages. Number 9 The amount of $7,000,000 is given to Princeton University. During the 1960s, an Ivy League university received a significant financial gift from the estate of a rich family. Because the family's wishes about the management of the endowment were not carried out in the manner in which it was initially established, the family decided to bring legal action against Princeton to alter how the foundation was administered. In the months that followed, the court ordered the university to pay nearly $7 million in court fees and to alter how the endowment was managed by the university so that it complied with the conditions that had been established by the individuals who had initially established the endowment. Number 8 Ralphs vs. Six Female Employees Over $30 Million In 2002, six employees at Ralph's store in California who had been harassed or threatened while on the job decided to initiate legal action against their manager. They regularly filed reports alleging that the store manager was mistreating them and inappropriately touching them, only to discover that their objections were being ignored each time. They decided to gather evidence as a group, and in the end, they were successful in winning their case against the business for ignoring their concerns that they were being mistreated and enabling this man to continue his harassment for over a year while they were employed there. Number 7 Ashley Alford vs. Aaron's A Dispute Worth $95 Million Aaron's is a rental store where people with bad credit or no extra cash can pay every week to rent furniture and electronics. For those who purchase their furniture and electronics outright and don't need to bother with rental facilities, Aaron's is a store where people can rent furniture and electronics. Ashley Alford, an employee at Aaron's, called the sexual harassment hotline of the company several times when she was being sexually harassed at work. Nevertheless, she received virtually no response from the company. She called the police after receiving an entirely new and unacceptable degree of harassment as a result of her call, and she ultimately decided to hire a lawyer. A judge ordered Aaron to make significant restitution for their neglectful treatment of their children after reviewing the evidence that the prosecutor had been gathering. Number 6 The lawsuit between Bank of America and George McReynolds, which is worth $160 million. In 2005, George McReynolds made his allegations known to the public, stating that the subsidiary of Bank of America known as Merrill Lynch did not treat its African American employees fairly. He went on to add that the financial organization did not provide these workers with the same salary or the same opportunities to advance their careers as it did for white workers. In 2013, the business decided to settle the legal dispute for $160 million. More than 700 African American individuals who worked for the bank and were mentioned by McReynolds in his lawsuit each received their share of the money. The financial institution desired to stay away from both the pricey fees and the court date. Number 5 Michael and Juanita Jordan, who has a net worth of $168 million. 
before the pricey settlement reached between Tiger Woods and Ellen Nordegren in 2010, Michael Jordan's divorce was the record holder for the most expensive legal settlement in the history of divorce. In 2007, he and his wife of nearly 20 years got a divorce, for reasons that have been the subject of widespread speculation but have never been substantiated. After the couple's divorce was finalized, the judge ordered the basketball player to pay his ex-wife $168 million in alimony and to give her a few other material things, such as jewelry and a house. In addition, the superstar was required to give his ex-wife certain other tangible assets. Number 4 Mercy General Hospital vs. Anichopurian A $200 million case Ani Chopurian was in the middle of her career in the medical field, when she decided to sue the hospital where she had been employed. When the physician's assistant resisted the doctor's advances, she was dubbed stupid, and subjected to repeated instances of sexual harassment at work. This culminated with the physician sticking her with a needle and calling her stupid. She stated that a group of doctors at the hospital made it their purpose to ask her for intimate favors regularly, despite being requested to cease doing so on multiple occasions. She claimed that this continued to happen even though she had begged them to stop. She was successful in her complaint, and she is no longer employed by the medical center. Number 3 Novartis $250 million it became clear that there was a widespread problem with discrimination after female workers, at a large pharmaceutical business came forward to describe how poorly they were treated in the workplace. Following the filing of a case against the corporation, the judge ordered the business to pay a quarter of a billion dollars to resolve the claims that it had unfairly treated women in the workplace. The lawsuit included claims that one woman was disciplined at work after using the restroom during a long meeting as well as a claim that the top-selling female associate was told that she would not be granted a management position after she had her baby. Additionally, the suit included claims that the defendant was negligent in its handling of the lawsuit. Number 2 The Countrywide Financial Corporation, with a total of $335 million. Have you ever heard of the concept known as a redlining? If not, count your blessings and consider yourself lucky. When Countrywide Financial was compelled to pay more than $335 million in 2011 for overcharging several hundred thousand customers, who were considered to be members of minority groups, the company unwittingly became an example for the rest of the world's banking and mortgage industries. The banking industry makes extensive use of this practice regularly as a deterrent for minorities to remain outside of more costly neighborhoods. Banks charge minorities higher interest rates and provide them with less favorable terms and conditions. Number 1 Tiger Woods vs. Ellen Nordegren, $750 million It was the end for Tiger Woods when he acknowledged having an affair, with as many as 20 different women during the length of his relatively short marriage to Ellen Nordegren, with whom he has two children during this time. He was married to Ellen Nordegren, with whom he had two children. That was the most costly declaration that he has ever made in his whole life. When they finally reached a divorce settlement, the judge ordered the golf pro to pay his ex-wife $750 million in alimony. The rest of the agreement specified that he is not permitted to bring any woman around their children to whom he is not married, even if she is his girlfriend. To this day, it holds the record for the most costly divorce involving a celebrity. At the end of this video, Tell us how was the video did you enjoy it, post your feedback in our comment section below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.